Meghan and Harry must be grilled by lawyers over their claims surrounding Meghan's estranged half-sister, Judge Charlene Edwards Honeywell has claimed. The court papers filed by her sister state Meghan was born in 1977. Meghan also revealed her true age, before in a rather court case in London in 2021. A claim made on Twitter was retweeted by royal biographer Angela Levin, who's known for criticism of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. In the conversation about Meghan, she's been referred to as Princess Pinocchio, a term used by TV presenter Piers Morgan for Harry's wife. In it, she said the following. Oh my god, you do realise that she's revealed her true age. Pinocchio has stated in the document, you've shown that she was two years old when Samantha was 15, when she moved to the other side of town, which means there's a 13 year gap between them. Samantha, born November 1964, is 57 years old today. Pinocchio is 13 years younger. That little slip-up revelation means Pinocchio is 44 years old. Commenting on a tweet, a user shared a screenshot of what he called Megan's email. He wrote, I think they're talking about Megan's emails that were submitted as evidence. She, nor her lawyers, challenged their authenticity. These were the facts. She wanted Jason to go over with the authors of FF, Finding Freedom. Officially, Meghan Markle is listed at 41 years old, but conspiracy theorists are still convinced she's much older than she leads on in public. People suggested an old graduation photo is proof that Meghan Markle is lying about her age. The graduation photo went viral on social media because of the year on her tassel in the photo, Meghan's graduation cap has a 95 on it. Conspiracy theorists believe that in this photo she was 18 years old, which would make Meghan 45 years old. People believe she's lying about her age, so she doesn't seem too much older than her husband who's 38. Is it possible that Meghan Markle is 45 years old? In theory it could be because she has enough money to pull off a lie like that. Markle's age has once again become a topic of discussion online after Tom Bauer's book was released. Meghan asked Procter & Gamble to change a commercial with sexist undertones when she was 11. The commercial had the tagline, women all over America are fighting greasy pots and pans and two of Markle's male classmates made a joke about women belonging in the kitchen after it aired, which frustrated her. According to a new book, her father Thomas Markle encouraged her to join the protest against Procter & Gamble. The book by Tom Bauer said Meghan wrote to the company's chairman and then First Lady Hillary Clinton. She urged that the slogan should be people all over America instead of women all over America. According to the book, Meghan had received no reply to her letters. Eagle-eyed royal fans have pointed out that Clinton started his presidential term in 1993, meaning that Hillary Clinton was not the first lady when Meghan was 11. Hillary was the wife of the governor of Arkansas at that time. A social media user noted that it couldn't happen unless Meghan is older than she says she is. Another said her age can be confirmed through a classmate.com, which scans and uploads high school yearbooks. Besides, Meghan also said she was a sophomore in high school during the Rodney King riots. That makes her birth year 1977.